Uh, let's just see if there's any participants in here. That'll let me know if I'm. Oh, God, there's someone in here. Okay. It says 863267 password 2020. It must be the right one. Okay, <laughs> I don't know where the rest of my people are. There's like a bunch of people signed in. Hmm. We're getting interference. Yeah. Okay, well, it is what it is. No one comes, I guess no one comes. And I'll get the whole power off. It is pouring cats and dogs out here. What's it like right here? My car is getting really large. I said, My car is getting really large. That's how my grandmother used to say it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and Oh my God, what is that? Can you hear that? Oh my God, thank you. What?
Oh, sorry guys, I just realized I was muted. Okay, hopefully we don't lose power. Everyone can see me? Hi Fee, hi Florida, hi Abby. Okay, there's one person I can't see. I see where it says Megan Killis on the screen. What's your name, little one? My name. There you go. Sorry, I forgot to change it to her name. <laughs> oh, you're no, you're totally fine. What, what did she say her name was? Kingsley. 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 Oh, that's awesome. Okay, cool. Do you go to school with Abby? Um, yes. You guys all go to, you guys all go to Atlantic Beach, right? Oh no, not Fee, but everyone else does. Okay. And then there's another person down here that says Isabel. I can't see you guys. If you don't want to be seen, that's totally fine. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. What's up one more? All right. And I'm going to leave you guys unmuted so that we can talk, okay? All right. So we're gonna do bugs. <laughs> like bugs. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love bugs. So see, I know you are like one of the most creative minds. You're gonna help me out today, okay? All right. Finally just stopped raining. I wish I could show you guys this huge puddle that's outside here right now. It rained for like four hours and now the whole courtyard is flooded and it looks really cool. There's gonna be a lot of good bugs in there when it's over. And there are some bugs that can make little air pockets under the earth and they can live even when it's raining outside. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who likes? Well, actually, let's go once. So we already we already said all of our names. Let's. Who likes butterflies? Me. Me too. Me too. Oh, look. Me yeah, too. Let's go. You guys like bugs? Okay. Uh oh. Hold on. I gotta figure out how to unscreen share this. Someone's. Oh come on. Wait, we fly out of nowhere. Yeah. Hold on one sec, guys. Um, okay. I just found instructions on how to fix this issue the other day. Give me one second. Okay, and host controls. Click the arrow next to. Did you do Abby and Floyd? Mm-hmm. I need Abby. I need Abby. Okay. Oh, yes, do it, do it. Do it. Okay. What do you, do you guys, hey guys, hey Abby and Ford, I can see you guys down there at the bottom. What do you see when you're looking at the screen? Um, like, um, do you see me? Login. It says, I can see. It, it says okay. uh, I can see you on like a little corner, but it's like it's like a whole like. It says the zoom. It, it says okay, yeah. Zoom All right. Okay, so so it looks like so Isabel, if you could um if you could take yours off of screen share because we're seeing that's what everyone is seeing right now. We're seeing the sc your screen sharing, and I'm I'm trying to figure out how to yeah. disable that feature. Give me one sec. Um. Sorry guys, this happened once before and I and I wasn't the one teaching, so I didn't learn how to fix it. Oh, there we go. It's fixed. Okay, good job, Isabel. You fixed it. Okay, okay, guys. Yes, it will. Let's be counterpuffs. All right. Let's be yeah, we're gonna so who knows how cat who knows how butterfly oh, butterflies. <laughs> Who knows how butterflies start out? This? Mm. Abby. Um, I was reading about them earlier. Um, they, um, they, their moms leave them on leaves. Yes. So first we're going to be eggs. Okay. We're going to be tiny. And the eggs are so teeny tiny because my boys are raising monarch butterflies right now. So we're going to, yeah, you guys can drop down like this. You can roll up into your little ball like this or... I can't see your mom. Oh, I know. I just realized you guys can't see me at all, can you? There we go. That's better. There we go. Okay. So you guys can either curl up like this in a little ball, or you guys can start up like this. But either way, this is going to give us lots of space.
to open up our hips right here, okay? So we're gonna start out as little itty bitty baby eggs. Good to make yourself in a ball. And if you guys want to, we can make this fun. We can rock and roll back and forth. And maybe that'll feel good on your back. So however you wanna be your egg, just make yourself a little round ball, okay? Little and tight. I'm loving this rocking thing, so I'm gonna keep going with this for a minute. <laughs> good, okay. Now get ready, because we're gonna start to, so hold yourself really tight. We're gonna start to break out of our eggs, okay? So stretch your arms forward. And then we're gonna come onto our bellies because we're now we look like little worms, right? So make yourself one long line. So lay down on your mat on your tummy. And now we're little itty bitty baby caterpillars. Actually, we should start out with our feet under us because caterpillars eat so much their first week that they can like double their size. So bring your feet underneath you. Let's start out like this, like half size. And then slowly we're gonna grow. So start to stretch your feet out. A little bit, and then a little bit further. And you guys can pretend like you're eating. Have any of you guys ever read that book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar? I read it. Oh yeah, I read yeah, it. Yeah, it's a classic, yeah. isn't it? And he ate so much that he made himself sick, but then he was huge and he, they ate so much because they have to have a lot of energy to change into a butterfly. Good, so everybody get really long this time, stretch out. We're big caterpillars now. I can't. And you guys know what we're gonna do next? We're gonna go into something that's called the J pose. Do you guys know your letters? Yes. Does everyone, good, does everyone know the letter J? Show me with your fingers what it looks like. Yeah, just like this. See, that looks like a bit like an L. So this is J pose. So that's what the caterpillars, they call it J pose when they get into that, that pose where they're getting ready. <laughs> I'm gonna mute you guys for a sec, okay? But we're gonna go into J pose. So everyone's gonna make a J shape with their bodies and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. But you guys can get creative if you have a better way. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my feet out to the side like this. And then I'm gonna lift my arms up like this. Everyone see if you can get into your J pose. And just so we get a good stretch on both sides, we'll do it on both sides, okay? So everyone get into your J, reach up towards the sky. Now, one more, one more pupuses or chrysalis, whatever you wanna call it, or pupas, we just stay really still. So everyone pretend like you're suspended in air. And our top part right here is hanging from whatever we're attached to, right? So it might be a leaf. So actually, if it's windy outside or if it's raining, maybe we start to sway because we don't have any control right now. We're just inside a little sack, right? The coolest thing is how nature works this out because the whole caterpillar turns into a liquid and then it rearranges itself back into a butterfly. Isn't that neat? Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna start to open up, but let's go to the other side first. So everybody change your J so that we get a good stretch on our other side, okay? Put your arms back up. Good, and we're still in our chrysalis phase. Does anyone know what color a chrysalis is? Yeah, say it out loud. Good, it's green, right? And they're really pretty. They even have a little bit of gold up there at the top. Really neat looking things. Okay, ready? We're gonna start to open up out of our chrysalis, all right? So everyone start to make your arms bigger. We're coming out of the top here. We're breaking free. We can bring our legs behind us. And let's come up into our upright pose because we're nice and tall now, right? And then we've got our wings here by our side. So let's start to move our wings. Everybody stretch your arms up and out, getting really big. Okay, taking up more space. And then if you want to be even taller, you can get even taller. You can come up on your knees like this. So keep flapping your wings. Breathe. Yeah, we're ready to fly, huh? All right. Let's come back down onto our feet real quick. Let me show you guys how to do butterfly another way, okay? So this time we're gonna grab our feet and these are gonna become our wings. So we stretch at our, we moved our arms a lot. Now let's move our legs. So the feet are gonna come together, touching the soles right here. And then grab a hold of your feet to make yourself more stable. And then press yourself into the ground. Let's start to flap our wings, start to flap our legs up and down. 
I'm just gonna stretch out our hips a little. Good, if you guys have been sitting a lot today, doesn't that feel good? Good, breathe. Keep moving and press your chest out while you're doing this. That way you can expand your back and your chest. One more breath in right here. Good, and now we're ready to migrate. I wanna hear if you guys know what migration is. Who knows what migration is? Hold on one second, I can't hear you guys yet. On you all. There we go. Okay, who wants to tell us what migration is? Um, feet. Like when they when they go someplace else. Like if it gets when it gets cold or hot, they migrate somewhere else. Great, true. Do you know what? Uh, do you know where monarch butterflies go when they migrate? Yeah. They go to another country. Do you know where? Mexico. Who knows where Mexico is? You guys do? Awesome. Is it above us or is it below us? Is it below? Is it below? Yeah. It's below us. Right, right. It's below us. Good job, B. Good job, Abby and Ford. Okay. All right, guys. Move into our next bug book. Hi, I can see you, Isabel. It's good to see you. Okay. All right, guys. So let's start out. And you guys know what snails are, right? So we're going to become snails. So everybody come on to your hands and knees just like this, okay? So this is what a snail looks like without a shell. But when they have shells on, they're really tall, right? So we're going to lift up towards the sky. Gonna lift up. And then as you're lifting, we're going to start to move. But you know we're going to go really slow, okay? So start to take tiny little micro movements with your hands. Really, really, really slow. And just kind of drag your feet. Do you guys know that snails leave a sticky stuff behind? And if you see it in the sunlight, even when it's dried, you'll still be able to see it on the sidewalk. It's like a shiny, sticky film. So one more step, okay? Good, and come back to a flat back. So go ahead and sit on your heels for a minute. Just like this. But then let's move our hips from side to side. And then move your right foot out to the right and your left foot out to the left. So this is the side view. From the front, it's going to look like this. You're going to be crickets. Or, um, I'm sorry, spiders. So right now we're baby spiders. We can get bigger though, okay? So let's rise up. Take your feet out wider and then bring your hands right between your feet. Then you can come onto your tippy toes. Good. Awesome, now we can start walking. So let's start to do a spider walk, okay? Come on guys, spider walk, spider walk. Good job, let's walk back. Dude, this is a lot of work, isn't it? And we only have four arms and legs right now. If we had eight, it'd probably be a lot easier, right? Did you guys know that? Spiders have eight legs. They're the only insects that have eight legs. And actually, I don't even think spiders are considered insects. Do you guys know what, what spiders are? They're called, they're called arachnids because they have really hard shells. Yes, if you guys have ever stepped on a spider, you've probably heard that gross crunch sound, huh? It's because they've got something called exoskeletons. They're really hard. And it's like a protection, it's like an armor. Okay, so from here, you guys come back to your spider pose, okay? And then flatten out one of your feet. Let's take our right foot and let's flatten that on the ground, okay? And then we're gonna step our left foot back. Just like this, we're gonna be crickets, okay? So get low. And then we're gonna take our left foot and we're gonna step it back up and go back to spider, okay? So let's go back to spider pose. Good, then let's go to cricket on our other side. So take the right foot back this time. You guys all know which side the right side is, right? Yeah. Good, and we're gonna stay here for just a second because we're gonna open up this back leg. So take a big breath in, spread out your fingers. And then step back up the spider. One more time on each side, okay guys, you with me? So step your left foot back, go back into cricket pose. 
Oh, you guys are doing so good. We'll take another breath in, lower your hips, and step back up to spider pose. Good, this is the last time, so the right foot is gonna step back, okay? Step back, and lower those hips, because you know bugs are little, so we're gonna get low to the ground. Good, and then step all the way back. This time, we're gonna go into a full cricket. So keep your knees off the ground. If you wanna drop onto your knees, you can drop off onto the knees, but we're gonna try to rub our wings together, because do you guys know what happens when a cricket rubs their wings together? It makes Say it out loud if you do. It makes noises? It makes noises. It makes noises. Yes. What kind of noises? Squeaks. Chirps. Yes. So let's pretend we're, we're rubbing our wings together. So everyone go like this with your back. You can keep your knees off the ground. And just wiggle your back. Pretend that you're moving your wings together. And if you want to, you can make the chirps out. I'm dying. Chirp. Chirp. <laughs> Good, and release. <sighs> Being a bug is a lot of work, isn't it? Oh my gosh, okay. So let's do some other fun stuff. Who knows of any bugs that fly besides butterflies? Anybody? Ladybugs. Ladybugs, yes, perfect. Okay, so how can we be ladybugs? Let's have some volunteers. Isabel, you wanna show us? How can we be ladybugs? Yeah. Um. Like, wait, so like, oh, I love that. Okay, so everybody sit down and we're gonna pull our feet in towards our body, okay? Okay, so everyone pull our feet in like this. Ladybugs are round, so from the side, maybe we lean over like this, curl up into a little ball. Good, everyone drop your head. See if we can balance just like this. And let go. Maybe we could go to spider pose from here, guys. Look at this. Maybe take your hands underneath your legs and press your hands into the ground. Good, Abby. Good. And let's see if we can lift up from here. So press your hands into the ground. Maybe we can get some air time. We can get off the ground like this. Good. Play around. Good work, guys. Really good. Okay, one more try, okay? So remember, put your hands on the ground. See if you can get your feet up. Yeah. For little spiders, and then press up off the ground. <laughs> the best Good work. All right. Okay. okay, so let's stand up. Let's do some other flying bugs, okay? And the most basic one is just a fly, right? So let's be flies. You know, those annoying, buzzing things that land on all your food when you're outside. Okay, so we're going to bring our left leg behind us. I'm doing my left leg first so you guys can see me. And then take it behind you. And then let's take our arms out like this. We can make little wings, okay? And then we can move our wings up and down. Everybody draw your shoulders back. They look like wings. Look down at your mat. Look down at your feet. And then let go. Good. Forward fold. Touch the ground. Let your head rock from side to side. Take a big breath in, and then let's take our feet apart. Good. Let's take our hands underneath our feet. What do we look like now, guys? Anyone have any idea? Um, okay. What kind of bug do we look like? Uh, <laughs> a cockroach? Great, a cockroach. Okay, yeah. Cockroaches have antennas though, so let's do this. While we're down here, let's stick our arms out in front of us and make them our, our antennas, okay? Cockroaches have these long feelers because they can't see. Did you guys know that? Yeah, cockroaches can't see at all. So stick your feelers out so that you know where you're going, okay? You can do your arms or you can just do your hands, but make yourself some antennas. And then let's come down onto our backs. I'm going to show you guys another way to do cockroach before we go back into our fly on the other side, okay? So this one's called dead bug. This is like a dead cockroach. Because a lot of times they end up on their backs, right? Okay, so everyone's going to lay down their back. We're just going to take our feet and grab them with your hands. And then pull your knees down. Press your lower back down into the ground. Press your shoulders down. And then we're 
we're not really going to be dead bugs. We're going to move a little bit just for fun. Okay. <laughs> just because it feels good. But yeah, we've got our feet up in the air. Um, maybe you can put your arms up in the air like this because uh, dead bugs have all their legs up in the air. Shake it out. You guys ever seen a beetle that was trying to roll back over? They do this. Okay, then let's roll back onto our front, okay? We're back up. We're back on our feet. Good. Okay, now let's just, for fun, let's try to hop. Let's see what happens if we try to hop up. So press your hands into the ground and start to jump with your feet. What? You guys try it. Try to jump. Good work, guys. This is a lot of work. Oh, hi, Bella and Aaliyah. Good, good job, guys. Couple more jumps. Two to three more of these, okay? Put your hands down on the mat. Jump up. And release. Everybody come onto their bellies for a moment of rest. And right now, let's be roly-poly. So everyone grab your feet behind you. Roll yourself up into a little ball so that you can rest. Great work, everyone. Maybe reach around and pat yourself on the back. That was a lot of work. <laughs> Yoga. <laughs> Yay, yoga! Okay, then let's reach our arms back out in front of us. Let's be worms, okay? So reach your fingers to the front, and then we're slowly going to slide our legs to the back. So we're going to be one long line, and then Mom. The arms move, they kind of have to contract upwards, right? I'm sorry. So we're going to slide our knees in towards our body. And then we're going to slide back out. Let's do this a couple times, okay? So slide your arms out and then draw your knees in. You guys have got this. One more time, okay? Slide forward. I don't even know if I'm in the frame anymore. <laughs> okay. And then rest on your belly, okay? Good work, guys. Okay. We're going to become dragonflies now. You ready? All right. So we're going to take our arms behind us, or our arms are going to come out to our sides, okay? And we're going to keep our feet together. Dragonflies don't have legs. So we're going to pretend like we're one long body and we've got our wings out to our sides. So everyone take a breath in, lift up. Good, and then start to flap your wings. But so fast that they don't even look like they're moving. Because dragonflies are really fast, right? Good, they can zip through the air. So one more time. And come back down. Good. Take your knee side to side. And let's do that one more time, okay? Let's go up into dragonfly. So everybody lift up. Zip, zip around. They're flapping your wings really fast, ready? Three more times. And release. Good work, everybody. Okay, let's take a little stretch. So everyone lift your right foot up. Okay, then move that over the other side of your body, okay? This right foot's gonna come over to the left side. And you guys are pretty young and flexible, so maybe you can even grab your right foot with your left hand. Give that a try. And then let's come back to center. Take the opposite leg up. So left leg lifts up. And let's take it over. And pretend like we're moths. Moths are graceful, just like this. And come back to center. And then let's lift up. And press up. And then come back to standing. Take a breath in. We're going to do our fly on the other side. So this means our right leg's going to go back this time, okay? Everybody ready? Take your right leg and press it back. And then bend your arms. Bring your hands right underneath your shoulders. Start to flap your wings. Good, breathe. And release. Bring your foot to the ground. 
forward fold. Let's go back to our rag doll. You guys know what dragonflies eat? Who knows? They eat mosquitoes. Isn't that cool? That's why we always want to save the dragonfly population. We should always be good to dragonflies because they save us from getting bit more than we normally would. Isn't that cool? All right, guys, let's move on, okay? Let's come back to your, um, come back to your little cockroach that we were in before. I'm gonna need help with this next one, guys, because I'm not good at this next one, okay? This is called praying mantis pose. You guys ever seen a praying mantis? Nod your head yes if you ever seen one. They're really cool, but rare, majestic bugs. You don't see them that often, but they're tall. So we're gonna set it on our bellies, and we're gonna see if we can move our feet. So bring your hands right underneath your shoulders, and we're gonna see if we can move our feet towards our head. Bet some of you guys can, oh yes, you guys are so good at this. Nice, Isabel. Good work, guys. Bring your feet close to your head, breath up. And let go, shake it out. Shake your legs. <laughs> Take a breath in. Come into your push-up position. Okay, let's go back to cricket. Step your right foot forward. Lower yourself down. Take it back. Step your left foot forward. Lower yourself down. And then straighten your left leg. It's so now we're like this. And we're going to walk the back foot up just a little bit, guys. Just enough for us to come into our triangle pose. And I'm going to turn this way so you can see me. But this is what a stick bug kind of looks like. You guys ever seen a stick bug? They're real tricky because you wouldn't know that it's not a, you wouldn't know that it's not a stick. You'd think it's just a stick. But they're very rigid looking. They're not very flexible. And they're, everything on them is straight. Their bodies, their legs. So we're gonna reach your arm up. We're just a bunch of straight lines right now disguising ourselves as a stick. So if something comes by, it won't know to eat us because it doesn't think we're alive. We just look like sticks, right? Let's take a breath in. And then take your hands back down to the ground. So bring one hand on either side of this foot, okay? And then we're gonna press our back foot up off the ground. So everyone lift your back foot, lift it higher, 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 as high as you can go. And let it drop. Good, that was another way of doing stick bug. So let's go to the other side now. So with this left foot, we're gonna step it back, okay? Okay, then take your right hand and put it on your right ankle. And we're gonna turn up the other way. Okay, so remember to stay very still when you're a stick bug. Because if we move too much, then the birds might see us and try to eat us. I think that's our biggest predator is the stick bug. Who knows what a predator is? A predator is something that tries to eat a prey. Really good. What's a prey? Um, a prey is something that the predator tries to eat. Really good. All right. So you guys know all about the food chain pretty much. All right. That's awesome. Okay. So let's go into our stick bug on the other side. So you guys get back into your stick bug pose. And then we're gonna bring both of our hands down to frame our foot. And then we're gonna press up off the back foot. There we go. So be still as a stick. Try to lift your leg higher. And then higher. And then higher. And release. Good, let's grab our elbows and sway from side to side. Hmm. Low to the ground. And then let's come back into spider one more time. Let's, get, let's start to wind down, guys. Or wind down. Mm -hmm. Wind down. 
<laughs> you guys are doing so good. Okay, so lower down. Let's use our elbows here to press our spider legs out to the side. Okay, so we're opening up. And let's draw it back onto our back. Let's see if we can just roll back. Back into our dead bug, into our roach. So everyone grab your feet. You can rock from side to side again. Good, and then pull your knees into your chest. Let's be roly poly bugs. So everybody, maybe you take your feet over your head if that feels good on your back. And then let's do a couple rock and rolls, okay? Couple rock and rolls. Good, and let's just lay down. And now we can really be dead bugs if we want to, because we're gonna go into our last pose of the day. And normally, we call this, in big kid yoga, we call this corpse pose. It's kind of like dead bug, but we're just gonna lay down very still. So arms out wide, legs out wide, or however you're comfortable. This is our final rest, our silent sleeping pose. Okay, so everybody lay down on your backs. And just come into your own calm, your own space. Start to wiggle your little fingers and toes, waking our bodies back up. And then roll onto your right side. Just make yourself a little ball. And then when you're ready, make your way back up to your seat. Bring our hands together at heart center. Take a deep breath in together. Ready? And then lift your thumb knuckles together at forehead center to think kind thoughts. Give your thumb knuckles to the center of your mouth to speak kind words. And then move your thumb knuckles to the center of your heart to feel kind feelings, which will make us have kind actions to ourselves and others. Namaste. Great job, you guys. If you guys have any ideas for what you wanna do next week, let's come up, we can always come up with a theme together. Why is this not working? Sorry, I'm trying to unmute you guys. You can, oh, you are muted. Okay, good. So that you guys can help me and give me ideas and stuff of things that you wanna do. Um, so I'm totally open to that. Um, I'm listening. If there's anything you guys have any ideas of, let me know. Anybody? Ocean animals? Ocean animals. We did the beach the first week. We'll probably do it again. We should wait a little while first, huh? What's up, B? 50s. 50s. That's an interesting idea. But none of us were alive in the 50s. Before, we, I still know every, a lot of things about it. We'll, we'll think about that then. It's not a bad my, idea. I love that idea. My favorite time eras are the 50s and the 80s. The 50s and the 80s? Yeah. I was, I was alive for a couple of years of the 80s. I can't say I remember. <laughs> hair gel and weird hairstyles. 
Oh, we should do a dress up week then. That would be fun. You need to coordinate that. We should, we can do a dress up week. I think we, I would like that. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I, I loved having you and I hope I see you next week. We're doing this next, we're doing this week, again, um, next Wednesday at 3.30, okay? So you guys, if you want to come, you log on. Feel free. All right? Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Thanks for coming. Please meet. Thank mm -hmm. you.